Atas 2.11 is AR statement. So to view our AR statement, you can refer to your right side under reports. There is a debtor statement. So click on the debtor statement. So for the first instruction, you it says that view the statement of customer one from 1st of January until 31st of January. So on the date range here, you need to assign 1st of January until 31st of January. Okay, and the debtor here, we need to view, we need to view the statement for only customer one, right? So on the debtor here. You, you need to click on the arrow down and choose filter by multi select so here since we only want to view customer one you just tick only customer one so after you tick customer one you click ok and then other than that sort by depth code you remain the same after you change the after you choose the adapter, what you need to do is you need to click on the inquiry and after that, you need to click on the preview. So, to preview your report, you can choose which statement that you prefer. So, I just choose the first one, adapter statement 12 months and I click OK. So, when I click OK, you will prompt out the adapter statement for customer 1 dated as statement date as at 31st of January 2020. So here you can see in this debt statement all the transaction that you have recorded that related to this customer. So instruction 2 it says that you need to change the amount of CN001 dated on 20th of January 2020 from 100 to 110 then preview the statement again so how to change this cn firstly we record as 100 but actually the amount is wrong so we want to change it to 110 how we can actually change you can just click direct on the uh, amount here in the statement just click and it will actually direct you to the original document that you recorded before so here you can see the amount is 100 so to change here first thing is to click on the edit button because if you don't click on edit you cannot edit the amount so the amount 100 you change to 110 and after that you can see there's a still unapplied amount of 10 ringgit because previously you only know of 100 now you already changed to 110 so basically this not off you need to untick first and tick again at the same place then only the unapplied amount will be zero then after that you just click on save button when you click on save you can see the 100 doesn't change yet to 110 because in this statement we don't have any refresh button so what you can do you need to close from the print preview you need to click again on the inquiry and then preview then only you choose the same report statement and when you view your statement you can see this the 100 has changed to 110.